All right, everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to give you a complete step-by-step -step walkthrough of LTX Studio, the most overpowered AI video generator I've ever seen. With so many AI tools on the market, it's easy to get overwhelmed. Not every video generator lives up to its promises, but LTX Studio truly stands out. In this video, I'll show you how to set up projects, generate scripts, images, and obviously the videos all within LTX Studio while modeling a real successful channel. But before we actually dive in, I want to show you how crazy this tool is. So here are a few clips that were made with LTX Studio. I've seen worlds crumble and stars fade into silence, but I'm still here. Weapons hot. Not because I'm unbreakable. Bow before the new order or be erased from the old one. But because I choose to stand. You can't rewrite destiny. Even when everything else falls. All right, so that clip looked absolutely insane. And before we dive in, let's take a look at another one. So now let's get going with the actual tutorial. So before I go ahead and create a new concept and we get started with making our video, they also offer generate images feature, which is similar to Midjourney. You just go in and paste the prompt. So for example, I pasted a prompt that I used for my own character. And as you can see, these are the results that we got. And another awesome feature they offer is generating motion with pretty much still pictures. So for example, I went back here and I made a picture with just a car. So let's get this picture, for example. Now let's go back here to generate a motion. Now I'm gonna upload back our image that I just got from LTX. Let's click on generate and see what we get and here we have the results so as you can see if you just need to genuinely create a piece of b-roll for your video or you need a specific clip that you have in mind you can just come on over to ltx and get this and just look at the quality looks very realistic if you ask me super cool so with that said let's get into the actual video so in today's video like i said i want to put ltx studio to a test and create a clip that will look just as realistic as the one that you saw in the beginning of this video except in the beginning of this video we saw something like you know futuristic like novel you know thinking of star wars something like this but i want to create something like you know sherlock holmes or detective vibes so something in this nature so to get going with this i'm gonna go back here to the home page and i'm gonna click on new project right here where it says start with a new concept so let's do that and so right after you click on create a new project you're gonna be right here and you're gonna be greeted by this uh interface so the first thing you need to do is you need to make a selection right here at the top so the first is develop a concept with ai should be pretty straightforward if you are not sure exactly what your video is gonna be i suggest you go with a develop concept with ai however if you already have a script written out and you know exactly what you want to see in your video and you just want to go with your exact script word for word that's also fine you can just click on stick to the script right here and obviously just go ahead and paste your script if you have it but i am obviously going to click on develop concept with ai and let me show you how to get started with this so at this point you need a prompt that you're going to paste right here so you can obviously just write it out but you know it takes manual work and you kind of need to know how to prompt in order to get an actual you know spectacular uh, movie out of it so what i did instead instead of just writing it out kind of boring isn't it i went to chat gpt and i wrote the following prompt give me five video concepts about crime storytelling niche i need the concepts to use on the platform called LTX, which creates scripts, images, and voiceovers. You know, it's good to give it context, why not? So I believe after it gave me those five concepts, I chose number five, and then I told it now turn concept five into a prompt. So again, you ask it first for an idea about crime storytelling niche or whatever you want to make videos about, and then you simply select the idea and tell it to turn into a prompt. And let's be honest, you would never realistically write this out on your own. Like, what are the odds? However, AI can do that. So let's go ahead and paste that right here. Also, underneath the prompt window is going to give you an option to put in a special request. I don't have any like crazy specific requests, but I'm just going gonna go with a dark cinematic and detective vibes so with the format i want to go with a short film and uh, now with the genre i'll just go let's say i'll go with prime as you can see you can choose a couple of genres by the way to really fine tune the results and in fact in my opinion you should absolutely choose a few genres so i'll choose crime let's say thriller maybe documentary but maybe not so that it doesn't turn out boring uh, because i actually want it to be somewhat scary yeah let's keep it that just crime and thriller should be enough and then tone let's say we can keep it dramatic and then suspenseful and maybe dark and lastly as you can see at the bottom we can choose uh to add the voiceover i will toggle this on because obviously i do want to have the voiceover and just like that we can click on next all right so here's our story it's been generated it took about maybe 30 seconds to generate it's called shadows of justice if you guys want to give it a read feel free to pause the video and do so but i already read it through briefly and to me it looks awesome not ai generated at all so we can definitely proceed with it however you if you want to edit anything or you want to make adjustments you could you know erase parts of it and edit them as you wish additionally here on the left side is going to give you a different variation of the same text so in case you don't like it at all it is you just 
just want something fundamentally different, you have it right here. Or if you don't like either of the options, really, you can click right here on generate more. And here it goes, echoes of betrayal. And you know, just in case you weren't happy with the initial results, you could go with this. And in fact, let's go with it. Why not? So let's go with echoes of betrayal. And just like that, I'm going to click on next. All right. And so here we are in the settings and cast section. As you can see, our characters have been generated. Uh, but before I get into that, let's just go over, you know, the basics here. First of all, on the left, we can choose our project's name. You know, if you wish to change it, you could do so. So next up here, we have aspect ratio. So whether you want long form videos or short form, you can choose whatever. I'll go with the long form in this case. So the next setting you can choose from is uh, the video style. Now here we can click on view all. And as you can see, you have quite a few options to choose from. So by default, I suppose it's going to be cinematic. Uh, but let's see, we can choose from anime or 3D cartoon. And as you can see, the characters are going to change in real time. So you can kind of get a feel for what style you're, you know, getting into. And do keep in mind that obviously not just characters are going to be influenced by this, you know, style selection, but the entire video as a whole, obviously. So with that in mind, I'm going to go with cinematic style because I do want our video to look somewhat realistic. So here at the bottom as well, you can upload style reference. So if you have a really particular style in mind and you want that to come to life, just go ahead and upload that image uh, right over here. And then here at the bottom, you can type in anything for cinematic style inspiration. I could also do something like cinematic, maybe dark. I don't have anything specific in mind for this, but you know, just to keep it very precise. But anyway, besides the general settings here on the left, you can actually edit those characters as well. So for example, what do I mean by that? Uh, let's click on edit right here and we can quite literally edit his characteristics. So for example, he's 38 years old. Let's say I want to make him 88 years old and let's see if there's going to be any dip. So as you can see, there's definitely a noticeable change here. Our character definitely got older. So if you don't want to play with age and all that, you can do that. And additionally, there's another feature that LTX Studio recently added, which is called train an actor. And those right here, I suppose, are the pre-trained actors. So you can just click on them and add them to your videos and they're going to be animated very well and all that stuff. And you can also train your own actor as well. So in case you're interested in actually want to create an actor of your own, you would have to go back to the homepage and here you can click on train an actor. And then as you just saw in the actual editor, they do offer presets. So if you're happy to go with one of these, but you also can create your own. So the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to upload pictures of myself, which I already have right here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. As you can see, I'm uploading different, just random pictures of me in different settings from different angles. And uh, it's kind of crucial so that AI has uh, a bunch of data to work with. Now, after you upload a total of at least five images, you're going to click on train actor here at the bottom right. And as you can see here, it will take a few moments to process and I'll come back when it's done. All right. So here I am. Didn't take long at all. Maybe one minute or so. And as you can see, we have now an actor of myself, which is absolutely cool. And if we go back to the editing interface and we click on use a consistent actor, we can now see me being one of those actors. But anyway, to keep it simple, I'll just go with the presets. And with all that being said, let's move on to the next step. All right. So we are now at the last stage of this process. And at this time, we need to basically look at our script and make sure it's all good to proceed because I like at the storyline stage, we're now looking at the precise script that's going to be word for word exactly the same in our video. So it is definitely time to pay attention. So right away, I can see we have an intro. We have, you know, scene one, scene two, three, four, and five. Now, I don't know if we need that many scenes since I am creating just a prototype. So I'm going to go ahead and delete maybe two of them. And it, obviously you have the option to do that. And maybe actually I'm going to delete three of them. We really don't need that many. So now we're working with just three scenes. And, you know, if you want to edit your script, you can obviously just go in and make whatever changes you want to. However, I'm not picky and to me it all looks fine so i'll just keep it the way it is and if you're happy with the result if you're happy with the script you're gonna go ahead and click on start here at the right bottom and do give it a few moments to generate everything and i'll be right back when it's done and it's gonna take a few moments to get our first prototype generated and as you can see here it is it didn't even take like 20 seconds uh so let's take a look at what we got so here we are in the storyboard and this is basically the first prototype of our video what i find interesting about ltx is that it actually gives you an option uh, this storyboard of some kind and you can actually fine tune your video and you know you can have basically full control over your video and you know exactly what is going to come out comparing to other video generating tools that are just going to give you you know whatever they're going to give you you're just going to type in a prompt and you just get an output with no basically customization well here it's not the case and anyway let's get into it and let's let me show you guys how to customize it and how it all works so to begin with it is possible to add each shot individually so if we go to this closer to this shot we can first of all make it full screen just you know take a good look at it really see if you like it or not if you don't like it for example there is two ways to really update it first if, it, if it's a prompt issue right if there is something fundamentally wrong with prompt, you can change it. But in case it's just a bad generation and it just genuinely didn't turn out well or as well as it could have. So in that case, you simply want to recreate your picture. And to do that, you simply click right here and it's going to happen in a few moments. So another cool thing you can do here is motion editor. So you could go in into one of the pictures. So for example, this one, and then you can basically customize the picture more or less individually before we create motion out of these pictures. So for example, we can go here to frame animation and you can create individual frame animations. So to show you guys an example, uh, here you can type in a prompt or if you have a specific frame in mind you want to end this video with you can upload it right here but
but I don't have this frame. So I'll just type in a random prompt just uh, to show you guys what it looks like. So I just typed in a random prompt off the top of my head, you know, blonde man in his 30s standing in the hallway. That should work well with the current picture. So next up, you can choose the duration and motion settings. That should be pretty simple. I'll just keep it on default. And with that said, let's click on generate. And when you choose your settings, just click on generate and you will get your first prototype. And as you can see, it's going to give you a few options. Now, this one is probably the best and what I was going for. Uh, but of course, as always, if none of the results really pleases you, you can click right here and regenerate the result until you get it right. Now, next up here on the left, you can also control the camera so you can add movement just like that. So for example, you can choose the start frame and then you can go here to add movement. You can, you know, they, they give you a few options, but let's say I want to have it just zooming in. So I will apply it just like so. And while our camera control video is being generated, I do want to point out this cool feature as well on the left, which is character animation. If you really want to animate your characters precisely, you can do that here. So if you want to capture a particular face, you can add a video of that face or even record your own face with the webcam, as you can see here, and literally have your face as a part of the video, which is super cool in my opinion. And another feature here on the left, which I've never seen any other video generator offer, which is adding an automatic sound effect. I don't know if I'm going to add it for this particular scene because it's just a guy standing in the hall, but there are definitely a few scenes where I will be adding that sound effect and we're going to play with it later on. But here's our zoom in generation done. Now it may be a little off, so maybe I could have given it a few, like another one or two generations just to get it perfect, but it's already quite good. So while I was talking, our camera control generation has been made. So let's take a look. Now what you can do now is you can click here on upscale. So if there are some minor imperfections, that would hopefully get rid of those if there are any. And as you can see, the video has been upscaled. Now it definitely looks better without those weird imperfections. So now you know the trick. So literally create a video and then if it has any imperfections, just do click on upscale and that should fix that. Now, the last thing I want to show you within this interface is the frame option. So we can go here on the left to the tools section. All right, so now I'm back in the storyboard. Now you have a good idea on how to customize every single picture individually. Or actually, I didn't show you everything. So because we also have tools here, so where you can change face expressions, you can remove objects, you can change camera angle. But the feature I didn't show you yet is the generated feel. So what you can do with this tool, for example, is I'm going to go back to our picture. And let's say I want to change his background completely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to carefully select everything around this guy, just like so. And let's say I want him to be standing on the street. And that's our goal. So as you can see, I've selected everything around this guy. And now here at the bottom, I'm going to write dark street corner, which is going to hopefully change the background and you will now be standing in a different place. So let's see when it's done. And here it is. So you get the idea. If you don't like a particular picture, you just go ahead into generate a fill and then you just select the area and you literally type in what you want to see and that area will be replaced and recreated. Now, once you've gone through your images and you basically made sure everything looks the way it should look like and you're satisfied with the results, now we can start bringing it to life. So first of all, as I mentioned previously, I do want to test out this feature, which is auto sound effect. And let's go through some shots and select the shot where we're going to apply this feature. So I think this dark mysterious hallway is definitely going to have a sound effect. Why not? And then this guy holding a book is going to have a sound effect. Now I've basically selected a few shots and I've added the sound effect. And now we are ready to start bringing it to life. And so the way you do that is you click here on generate motion. And so then you go through each and every image and you do that through this exact process and click on each one to generate motion. Now that is what is going to give you precise control over your generations. And so it will really eliminate any kind of randomness from your final output, which is super awesome. So the first results are here and this clip looks pretty really normal to me, but let's say this one turned out a little bit weird in a sense that he started walking and then he just started walking really fast. And I think it just a little weird. So I want to regenerate it. Like that's what I was talking about. We can just regenerate anything we don't like, meaning we have full control over the output. But anyway, once we're all done with uh, creating our clip and you think you're ready to proceed to actually generate this video, the last thing you want to do is uh, head over here to the voiceover at the top and click on it and make sure you do have a voiceover in place. Make sure you like the voiceover. You can also click on this drop down menu and go through the voiceovers. Select the one you like in case you don't like the one that was chosen for you. Yeah, with all that said, just click on share here at the top and then you're going to click on export storyboard, which is just an MP4 video of your storyboard. So let's take a look at what we got. In the shadows of the police department, the truth often hides behind a veil of silence. All right, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through. Now, if you want to watch more videos like this from my channel, just click on the screen now and you're gonna be taken to the next video.